My name's Ryan. My name's Natalia. And welcome to a brand new video. Here we wanted to make a video and show you guys our home gym and also what we have in our fridge. Like you guys know from the previous videos, we just switched apartments from our studio to now our large one bedroom apartment. We've, we've started to decorate our own apartment. We started to buy things and put things up and make it our own. Exactly, and we'll give you guys a tour of that later on. But for now, what we really wanted to do was we wanted to show you guys our home gym and also what is in our fridge. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna show you is our kitchen. So here we are in our kitchen and we're gonna show you guys what is behind us in our fridge. We'll start with the fridge and then we will move on into the freezer. So let's get to it. What we're gonna do in this New York City fridge tour is we're gonna go through levels. So we will start with level one, right up top. So now let's show you guys the top level. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is the yogurt. So you can notice that we have a lot of yogurt. The reason why we do that is because I am obsessed with yogurt. It is my nighttime snack. So I'll have one of these every single night. Now, we also have olives. Ryan hates olives, but I love them. So what I do is I put some of these on top of salads. I would say this is more of my section. This is what I love the most is my breakfast. My breakfast egg is something that I always have every single day. I don't know how many of you out there are the same, but I know there's people out there just like me that can't go a day without a breakfast egg. Natalia is not so big on eggs. She'll have them from time to time with me. But other than that, I would definitely say that I am a 100% egghead. So moving on to the second layer, we have here a lot of liquids. We have our filtered water, which actually Natalia got me on because I always grew up drinking water bottles, but she introduced me to this filter and it is amazing. All you have to do is you fill it up with your water and then you are good to go and you have water for the whole day. Now on top of that, we have a naked drink here that we like to have in the mornings. It's really smooth, really light, great drink to have right after you wake up. Um, and then some creamer back here. Now over here, if you push this back, we usually have some space here, which is filled with this bad boy right here. But as you can see, we are finito with our iced coffee. Natalia and I are big coffee fanatics. We love our morning coffee, sometimes our afternoon coffee, and then our evening coffees. Uh, I, I like my morning coffee. Now Ryan, on the other hand, drinks about five cups of coffee a day. So I drink it just in the morning, just to wake me up. Ryan is a fanatic, he loves coffee. Like Natalia said, I love my coffee, so that's something that we that we always have in our fridge. Besides our iced coffee that's usually here, we also have a Nespresso machine to make our espressos. And on top of that, we have a French press to make some French press coffee. See, our coffee game is really strong. That is one thing we will never not have in our fridge is some coffee. So besides those, we have our San Pellegrinos here which I would say if you like sparkling water, definitely get this. It is delicious and it is great because sometimes you just don't want water all day and you can switch off with this. Now we have two desserts here that we got for the month. We've got on the, the menu for the month, we got the tres leches and we also have these cute creme brulee things. So Natalia and I, we actually just got these from Costco to last us the whole month. Because now that restaurants are closed, it's hard to get dessert anywhere. And sometimes, you know, after a long day, you want something sweet to kind of wind down to. So we decided to get the tres leches and also these cool creme brulee cups. And the greatest thing about these things is actually... What you can do with these is they have little sugar packets you sprinkle them on top and then you grab a torch or a lighter and you start to light up the sugar and it becomes hardened just like 
creme brulee from a restaurant. It's really good. I think I've never seen anything like that. So I will definitely, this is the name of it, um, Mar Marie <laughs> Morin. So if you guys wanna check it out and go get yourself some, we will recommend it. This, we haven't had too much on it, um, but from what we've had, it's delicious. It's delicious. I love tres leches. And look at this, Costco, $14.99 for this whole thing. And it's crazy because for $14.99, you get that whole dessert. In New York, when you go to restaurants, literally every dessert will start at about $10 and go up and up. So having that treat is game changer. We put the desserts back and now we will hand it off to the beautiful Natalia who will give the tour of level three. So in the bottom <laughs> level of our refrigerator, we have a lot of liquids. Like Ryan said, we love to keep hydrated. So we have a lot. We have tons and tons of liquids in our refrigerator. My favorite liquid on this bottom level is actually this Oatly Milk vegan drink. I think it's delicious. It actually tastes better than dairy milk for my uh, personal taste. We have some Mango Arizona, and on the bottom, all the way on the end, we have some orange juice because Ryan is obsessed with orange juice. He has to have orange juice every single morning. We also have some beer. Ryan, would you like to talk about the beer since I'm not really familiar with it? <laughs> since I'm the alcoholic? No, I'm joking. No, we both like to drink, but she was saying because this is actually my beer. Um, so yeah, we always keep some beer in the fridge as well. So for this week, I have the Blue Point Summer Ale, which I would say is a great light ale beer if you guys ever want to try it, if you're over 21. So then after that beer, we also then move over to these drinks, the Bai, which I have not tried yet. Me either. And then moving on to this part. Yeah, so in this section, we have some beers, seltzers, and then we'll talk about this section. So these beers right here are my favorites. I love to put lemon and salt in my beer. Um, they're called micheladas. And what I do is I look for beer that already has lemon in it. So this lemon shandy, this is actually my favorite summer beer. Every single summer, I try to get as many as I can. And then these are Ryan's favorite, the White Claws. Everybody has seen these in commercials and everything like that. So these are Ryan's favorite beer. And now let's get on to, we have the salad dressings. We have a couple of different ones because Ryan likes the raspberry vinaigrette and I love my blue cheese and ranch on my salads. So we have different kinds. And the reason why we also have a variety of different pasta sauces is because the same thing, Ryan and I differ on what we like in our pastas. I love Alfredo, it is my favorite pasta sauce. On the other hand, Ryan likes tomato sauce and he also likes vodka sauce. So that's why we have that one in the back. And then we also have this hot sauce that we got from Whole Foods, which is delicious. It's black truffle infused and you can definitely taste it when you're having it. But I actually saw this on one of uh, this Instagram guy, Ben Baller's page who I follow and he's been raving about this hot sauce and luckily Whole Foods by me had it. If your Whole Foods doesn't have it though, just go online. They have like a website, truff.com or something where you can get this hot sauce because we will definitely recommend it. It's really, really good. And then after this section right here, we kind of start to end the fridge tour. So up here we have a lot of different toppings that we put in our foods. We actually have our mayonnaise and ketchup. We are both Spanish and we love to invent pink sauce, which if you guys don't know, if you guys never heard of it, it is going to blow your mind. Get some ketchup, get some mayonnaise, mix it up, and you get a pink delicious sauce that goes with almost everything. We have endless amount of Parmesan cheese, because like Natalia said, we are big cheese fanatics. She actually likes cheese as much as I like coffee. Yes, so I that should that tell you something. And then here we have some other breakfast items. We have our peanut butter and we also have our jelly. And then this, if you watch this clip right here, This is how Natalia makes her delicious morning iced coffees. This topping right here, 
We usually get different flavors, but right now we have caramel and it is delicious. And then right here is just a bunch of little things, little knickknacks, some butter, lemon sauce, all these different things that we'll throw on top of our foods and stuff like that. Speaking of foods, Toby was around the corner. He heard something good coming up, but that concludes our fridge portion of this tour. Now, as we close it and then bring you guys to the freezer. And then up here we have our last part to our freezer, which is where we have more of our meats and seafood. We also have some more bread, some more hot dogs. One thing that I didn't know that you could do that actually I was told to by my mother, by an Italian, is you can actually freeze your bread. You can also freeze cheeses that you're not using at the moment. So then that way they don't go bad. Um, so if you guys ever have extra supply of something, definitely just throw it in the fridge and you'll be good to go. So that concludes our fridge and our freezer tour here in our New York City apartment. One thing that we did this month that is different than we've done in the past is instead of going week to week grocery shopping, we decided to do everything for the whole month. So last, so this weekend that just passed, we went to Costco and we got so many things in bulk. Um, if you saw the fridge, we had uh, a bulk amount of veggie burgers, we had a bulk amount of mozzarella string cheese, we had a bulk amount of bread. You know, all these things we bought in bulk because instead of going week to week and spending 250 to $300 at Whole Foods, we just did one big trip to Costco. And we're gonna see how this turns out. I think that this is actually gonna save us a lot of money. So if you guys want to do this too, I definitely recommend it. That way, not only do you save money, but then you don't have to worry about going back out every weekend and doing groceries because groceries can be a pain in the ass, especially during these times. But with that being said, now we are going to the second portion of this video, the home gym. And then here we have our home gym. These right here are some jump ropes that are great to do. They are excellent cardio, so sometimes we'll just sit here, not sit, but stand up, and just do our jump ropes. Excellent source of cardio, so we got these bad boys. Natalia got these bad boys on Amazon, and we use them like that. We have floor mats here so that we can also do crunches, mountain climbers, all different types of cardio-based workouts. And then there... We have a stepper. I actually got this uh, for my old apartment, and... I use this as a cardio sometimes, and it, I love it because it doesn't take too much space. And here comes Toby, he loves it as well. <laughs> Toby loves that thing. What? <laughs> One time, actually a funny story, Toby almost got caught underneath it. He actually did get caught. Hmm. So that's why he doesn't bite it. He used to bite it a lot, but now he doesn't bite it as much because he got caught once when I was working out. And um, luckily it didn't do anything to his face or anything, but he learned his lesson. <laughs> exactly. And also behind Nat's thing, we also have these resistant bands that come in different types. So you have like extra heavy, so which is like super strong. Two extra light, which is really, really easy to move. And these I think you also got from Amazon, right? Yes. Amazon actually has a lot of workout equipment and it ships super fast, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a great thing about it. Now, something that you guys might also experience with pets is whenever we try to work out, Toby is either messing with the stepper or if you see, let's say I'm gonna do a mountain climber like this. You see, he always wants to wrestle. But the great thing about this apartment that we got is that we also, apart from this space right here that we can use for working out, we also have something outside where we can also work out. So if we take you with us outside, we'll be able to work out outdoors. And then we're out here in our patio for our outdoor workouts. Here, what we mainly do is we can either jump rope out here, sometimes we bring the mats out here, and we do things outdoors. Right now, it's starting to get a little hot here, so where you prefer to work out indoors. But the great thing 
behind me you will see and these right here these are o-rings there's two pairs of them but um for now i have one and so what i do with this is it's great because you can work out so many different things uh, for example if i want to do my back workouts i can simply grab it like this and go like that and then i'm doing this whole back workout right here if i want to do push-ups i'll bring the mat down and i'll sit down and then i'll just do push-ups like these these i also got from amazon i think they were like 30 or so but amazing for your workouts outdoors we've seen people actually at the park with them so you can actually bring them to the park and get your workout at the, the park the gym court uh, the baseball court you can get your workout in all those different areas and here we are in our living room about to turn on some music and get this workout in for the day but thank you guys for watching this video again my name is ryan my name is natalia and we hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any comments please leave them below i definitely respond to each and every one of your guys's comments tell us about your home gym what you think we should add at our home gym and we'd love to hear your questions so with that being said thank you everyone Peace.